So yeah, the video kind of cut out, uh, kind of cut out, uh, the rest of the chick talking to me, which was honestly nothing more than that one sentence, and her handing me this, the Holy Water Pamphlet. Good people of Megaton, your salvation is at hand. We are the apostles of eternal light. To heal this wounded city, we are willing to provide any and all supplicants with cleansing holy water. Uh, come to our monastery in Springvale, and Brother Gerard will minister to your every need. We will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of light. This will basically be permanently attached to your door. Holy water pamphlet. Oh, uh, you know, you can take it off now, but next time you fast travel into Megaton, it will be there again. So, even after you complete the quest. So, go to Spring Vale. As you can see, it opened up a new, uh, tiny asterisk uh, marker, which there's really no reason for it to be there. So, like I said before, I'm going to be doing the side quest first and then the main quest. Uh, main quest is going to take a lot longer than the side quests. Uh, bust them out pretty quickly. There's only three side quests, as, uh, as you saw. Here it is. Monastery. Weary traveler, welcome to the Monastery of the Apostles of the Eternal Light. Oh, but you must be parched from your travels. Yet please, accept this gift. Holy water, blessed by our order. We must drink deep of the water of light, so that it may sanctify our tongues and render us purified for discourse. And this holy water just happens to be... irradiated. You must cleanse your tongue it. of unseemly speech by drinking deep of the holy water. I can see the glint of Adam's light in your eyes. You have purified your tongue with the holy water. So now we may speak. How may this servant of the eternal light serve Absolute you? eternal light, is that just you? Thanks, but I'll pass. I have, I've had bad luck with cults. <laughs> no, no, ours is a modest order. But our ranks are growing slowly as others hear our words and are enlightened. As our luminescent mother says, where others walk only in the dying waste, we offer the path of eternal light. And to spread goodwill, we offer this holy water to any and all supplicants. I'm sure you mean well, but this has to stop. You know this water is full of radiation, right? Sounds like a nice little setup you got. Have fun poisoning people. <laughs> it's full of Adam's light, if that's what you mean. Brighter and warmer than any water I've ever seen before. Blessing of the holy water is overseen by Mother Curie the Third, our luminescent mother. But her work keeps her busy within the monastery at all times. I need to enter the monastery. Where did you get your water? Tell me about your order. Our luminescent mother went to meditate outside of the city, and as she wandered in a trance, she was visited by Adam's angels of war. These angels brought her aqua pura water so pure, so pristine, and so unsullied that she knew it would make the perfect vessel for Adam's glow. Since that day, she has busied herself consecrating Adam's pure water into the waters of light. So, if you, uh, are too stupid to understand what that means, the angels of war, he's talking about the Brotherhood of Steel. Your holy water is poisoned with radiation. No, it's full of Adam's light. It's a tragedy that not everyone is prepared to accept enlightenment, but such are the ways of the divine. Besides, we never force anyone to drink it. We simply give the opportunity to those who thirst for something more. Tell me about your order. Ah, the apostles of the eternal light were first introduced to the majesty of Adam's glow by the holy teachings of Confessor Cromwell. And we were content to stay in Cromwell's church until Adam gave a vision unto our luminous mother. She learned that Adam did not call for division, that sundering which drives us apart. Adam calls for enlightenment, the warmth which feeds us. For it is only through Adam's supreme and total enlightenment that we may attain salvation in eternal light. Please enter the monastery. 
I'm afraid it is not open to the unenlightened. Your presence would contaminate our great works. However, if you are willing to be baptized in Adam's holy light, then perhaps I could allow you to enter and meet our leader. I mean, I have to be irradiated to be allowed inside. Okay, I tried asking nice. Let's do this the hard way. <laughs> yes, call it what you will. We simply will not allow any who do not bear the light. Make your way to our tabernacle, pilgrim. Pray to Adam to fill you with holy radiance. Bask in the glow of Adam's eternal light. thought that was right away. Atom, light your path, friend. May Adam... I'm sorry, but I must insist. You simply cannot be allowed on... Where you see radiation, we see humanity's salvation. And we can hardly allow the unsaved into our holy monastery now, can we? You may supplicate to Adam your desire for enlightenment at our tabernacle. All may bask in the eternal light. All may be filled with the glow. So, yeah, you can become irradiated, or just pick the freaking lock. Never done it that way. I, I usually let myself get radiated. But, hear my yeah. words and feel Adam's warmth. Yeah, yeah. For too long, our world has been barren, and our people have become empty. Their hearts have become dry and cold, and thirst consumes the weak and the strong alike. But we can save them, for Adam's bounty has granted Ghouls. us the gifts of mercy and compassion. Oh, my brethren, let us share with them the waters of light. Let them be Let them know his glow and be truly enlightened. And let them live forever and walk with us in the grace of Adam's glow and never be empty again. May Adam be with you. Always. Oh, oh my! I wasn't expecting a pilgrim to our shrine. We're hardly prepared for casual visitors, I'm afraid. You must have made quite an impression on Brother Gerard. He's a lovely boy, but rather strident. I hope he wasn't a bother. Oh, but where are my manners? <laughs> I'm Mother Curie the Third, and I lead the Apostles of the Eternal Light. What can I do for you, my dear? Oh, luminescent mother, I need to speak with you about your holy water. I'm putting an end to your twisted cult right now. 